Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Man the Maker. Welcome back to Tales of Magiel. I love this game. I will say that every time that I start playing this. I know it doesn't have the, <laughs> the biggest audience, but I just don't care. It's just so much fun. It's just so good. And so I've I've resolved. I've resolved on something. This time when we play, I'm not going to open any of the scary doors or click on any of the terrifying tentacles that I so often do that I mean, cause me to lose the game. I'm just not going to do it. If you've never played this game before, then you don't really know what I'm talking about. If you do, or if you have, then you do know what I'm talking about. We're not doing it. I say this now. Can I have the self-control? I'm not sure. Hmm. 1.6.7 just came out. Eh, small update. Fixed a bug mostly, I think, and some other things that are uh, mostly not important to us. We're just going to carry on. I, I know. Actually, I was inspired by somebody in the comments. Let me give a, a quick... Let me give a quick shout out. Hold on a second. To my friend here who I've been chatting with. Uh, that's weird. <laughs> um, they're not. They're not showing up here. Uh, Boogie Beats. There it is. Boog I E Beats. Yep. If he knows, he knows what class we're gonna pick. Because of this inspiration, we are going to be going for... I don't actually know where they are. Uh, oh, yes. Writhing ones know that what we call horrors hold the key to some ancient knowledge and power from the age of haze, and they are ready to do anything to access it. In their lust for power, they somehow lost a part of themselves, turning more and more into the horrors they study. Most of them forego an entire arm to turn it into a tentacle. A deadly tentacle. Some are even known to never leave their sanctuary without their own worm that walks friend. If you saw the last series, <laughs> this is particularly poignant because we did encounter two worm that walks upon opening up a scary door. And, uh, bad things happened. We are the writhing one here. We are the writhing one. We need strength and magic. I'm considering... I actually don't know. I actually don't know who to be. I kind of always just go with like a Kornak because I I don't honestly like I don't, I don't know the class as well enough to be like this is definitely who I need an extra talent category point and the class and generic talent points for um because I'm a, I'm a bit of a chump like that <laughs> I might I might just go for it I might just go for it again always picking the Kornak I'm pretty lame I realize I mean, we could go for a halfling here. No. I mean, we do care about the lore. It's only minus two. In the end, it's it's basically the same. You know what? Let's try them out. We're tough. We got dexterity and constitution. Don't care at all about that. Actually. Do I care? I mean, Gift of the Woods allows us to regenerate life and increase healing once in a while. You know what? I'm just going to try. I don't know. Thalor. Thalor it is. So we will be... Oh, boy. I didn't think of a name here. Icky man. I'm very clever. We will be a man. And uh, let's go ahead. Boom. I have done a little bit of research on the class. But still, I mean... I'm, I'm often <laughs> easily overwhelmed here. Our magic is probably far too low to utilize anything here. Indeed it is. We're going to put all of points of magic to kind of compensate for our reduced magic that we did start off with. Now, why do we pick the lore? Because Gift of the Woods is very nice. Verdant is very nice. Wow. Nature and Acid Damage Affinity. Guardian of the Wood is pretty nice. And Nature's Pride is also very nice. I like all of them. Um, we start off with tentacles. So this, our left hand is a disgusting mass of tentacles. Basically, we just carry only one weapon. And our other weapon is just this tentacle thing. It's very gross. 
there's a lot a lot of stuff that that we kind of like over here i like a lot of stuff over here um mutated hand is is pretty good i mean constrict and uh i'm not gonna know we're not gonna get too far into that horrific body this is the shed skin for a damage shield. Damage shields are always nice, and it's probably almost certainly worth it. We do use insanity as a uh, as a thing, which I think as it gets higher up, I forget what it actually does. Um, we'll have to take a look at that again. Actually, before I do that, I know I want my, my stuff to go there. Yes, accept those changes. Characters registered. Mental insanity. Higher it is, the more random your damage and cooldowns become. Have a chance to increase or decrease by up to chaotic. So, okay, they're going to be all over the place. Both the chance size effects will increase with insanity. Right, so things get kind of crazy. Um, carrying feet is pretty good. We just go faster when we activate it. Um, I did really, really like Decaying Horrors. Disfigured Face, I think we're going to ignore here. Um, I think we're going to ignore. And eventually we're going to pick up this one over here. But for now, I would like this one. We will pick up Shedded Skin. And I think we will pick up the Decayed Devours. Like, right? These things are all just great value points. Decayed Horrors. I mean, right? Damage Shield. This lets you move faster. And you can jump around with it. Which is great. This summons three Decaying Horrors for a small amount of time. And they uh, cannot move, but they attack a bunch of stuff. So they're great to like absorb damage and just deal damage to other people. You can, of course, summon even more horrors. But for now, I, I'm pretty happy with, with the value point spread over here. We might just completely, completely skip this tree, but we'll look at that further on. We also, of course, have Beyond Sanity here. Each time you trigger an insanity chaotic effect with a power higher than 20 or lower than minus 20, you gain a chaos orb. Each orb increases your damage by 3%. Yeah, just gives us some chaos orbs. Can stack a bunch of times, which we can then consume. There's no reason to not get it. Um, unfortunately, we don't have enough points. Yeah, we don't have the strength to pick this up. We would need a bit more to boost that up, more for that. Okay, not going to worry about it. We have this one point. I mean, I guess I want more chaos orbs, right? That seems pretty good. I don't think I want to boost this up if i boost it up does the next one it's just healing mod Meh. let's go for the chaos orbs and there we go except those changes um let's see there's our decay devour chaos orbs sustained please turn it on Boop. activated chaos orbs this doesn't cost anything it does take a turn we'll set this on to auto use when out of combat. Uh, no. Auto use. Yeah, I guess when out of combat. That's fine. And um, teleport. Yeah, we can just teleport back to here. And this thing is a passive. Whoops. You are just passive, right? Yes. Okay. Um, from here. I forget what we have to do. <laughs> Throw that device. We have to destroy the worm's neural spine. All right, something is heading towards us. We need to go and stop it. I don't remember where to go. Uh, there is a way out somewhere. I, I do not recall. Um, portal to the maggot. Yeah, this will take us right into this. And we got to go and stop this guy. I think we're going inside the worm. We are. It always kind of freaks me out. Because I've been inside of the worm before in a different situation and had really terrible things. Uh, why can't I? I don't have enough insanity. How do I gain insanity? Just by attacking? Apparently. And it just diminishes over time. Okay. We got a bunch of guys here. I'm going to summon my friends. Say hello. You can see I'm whipping people with my tentacles over there. Great. Seems like we're going to be able to just kind of 
bash through here. We are playing on normal difficulty, though we are on roguelike, so uh, if we die, we are dead. I'll smack you down. You are my damage shield? Yeah, you should actually come over here. Healing Infusion of the Sneak. It's probably better than what we have. Ooh. Move to normal inventory. And then use. Indeed, it is better. 61 instead of 50, sure. I also got a Wizard's Copper Ring of Darkness already. That is great. War Axe is also much better. I will take some resistances. And a stabilizing cap, sure. Goodbye. Thank you. Getting slaughtered, yeah. We're gonna, with this axe, we're going to, ow. This is not a tiny amount of damage. Um, I can use that and just heal a bunch. And then murder, great. Definitely dealing a lot of damage here. Um, all of these gross things. Hey, level up. Uh, I think we want... We need magic 20 for these, but not yet. 18 to get the next one. Wow. I'm boosting this up. Just deals a lot more damage. Yeah, tentacle attacks. Hit your target and those on the side. I didn't realize that it just snacked everyone. That is pretty awesome. Um, but also, I kind of want to get these. I want to go up over here. Hmm. I think for now. No. We're going to get our strength up so we can put points into heavy armor training. Weapon mastery is going to be a while away. That's fine. Probably pretty much just going to alternate here. Um, I think I'm going to go for this one, All right? A little bit more movement speed. We activate it as well as being able to jump, which is very nice. This costs some insanity. Gains insanity. Ooh. Okay. Activated and deactivated. I remember this thing. Let's carry on. Just gonna slaughter all these guys. I do love that little tentacle effect there. Poisoned a little bit. Carry on, just murder. I mean, these guys should all be pretty, pretty simple for us to just kill here. Indeed they are. Is this, I mean, we're literally inside the stomach of a giant worm. Now I've done that before and it, when it's not the starter zone, I gotta tell you, it's a lot more difficult and a lot scarier. God, I love that area of effect. A new threat. I, I'm not gonna read any of this stuff. Open the sack. I said I wasn't gonna open the sack. See, this is also a dangerous thing. Bad, bad things can come out of those. <sighs> not opening up any like treasure chest seems crazy to me but i really like the thing is folks i have never made it to the east not once okay taking a little bit of damage yeah i, sh I should be more careful there and a little bit less flippant not once have i made it to the east let alone <sighs> wow that's pretty great just watching it murder everybody um did i forget I have a generic point here. I can put this into here. Yeah. Get that chaos orbs up to three. Why not? Uh, embers of rage. A little present in the inventory. I have embers of rage. What do you what you got for me? The cog. Plus five cunning and willpower and ten percent chance when you're hurt to negate the blow entirely. That is fantastic. Really, really good. Dark Whispers from Unseen Foes. And now it is the Spinal Cord. Okay. we. Oh, yeah, of course. There's the Spinal Cord. 
We shall sever the spinal cord. Um, I will shed some skin here. And, uh, hey. Oh my god. What have you done to me? Dark whispers. I'm being driven mad. Well, I'm gonna just pop this thing off. And I have full healed. Not dealing the greatest damage. Um, I will use a regen right now. To negate any possible damage. And you're dead! Worm that devires? Done. Madness of the ages. You're mine. Summertide file is always nice. Right, this is a much better lantern, plus uh, some other bonus stats. When attacking melee, deals 15 light damage and lights tiles in radius 1. Yeah. We'll definitely wield that. We'll put on this uh, maximum life of 32, please, and thank you. An even better healing infusion? Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Another ring. Wow, that's a lot. I'll, sometimes I don't get any rings for a long time, but I will definitely take this. Plus strength, armor, a bunch of cold resistance. I don't know about the teleportation ring, or rune, rather. Um, got ourselves a slime battle axe. Chance to slow global speed. Only 7%. This does 16.5 to 23. This one does a little bit less, but actually, okay. I'm gonna move it to normal inventory. Balance Iron Dagger, I don't think we're gonna use. Quick Iron Greatsword is a two-hander, no thanks. We will take the boots. Um, and the Leather Cap, we'll probably take. Dexterity over physical save, nah. Not what I want to see. Mm -hmm. Damage of 28 compared to... Oh, it's arcane disrupting. Never mind. We will not use that. We will just use the War Sword of Massacre. Thank you. Um, let's finish exploring everywhere here, please. Might as well get all the good stuff. All that sweet experience. Um, I'm being attacked, I cannot see, but that's fine. Bop. Dun, 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 bum, 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 bum. Nowhere else left to explore. We did level up again. We are level five all of a sudden. My, 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 my. We do need 20 magic. I will go to that. And I want to get this up because, I mean, we are going to be using some heavy armor. Massive when we can. And uh, the weapons mastery makes a lot of sense to me too. What is this? We consume it to teleport. Eventually, we trigger an explosion of a chaos orb. Confuse for six turn. Okay. Maximum negative insanity effect is reduced by 3%. Gaining? Yeah, it's not that interesting. I think I'd rather just go for more straight damage at this point. Um, and then now into magic. What do I need? 26. 26 strength to get to that? Yeah, that's fine. I can, it makes sense. Over here now. A lot more magic to get this mutated hand up higher. That's true. This one, spin around and extend your weapon, damaging all targets around you for a bunch of damage and hitting people in a larger <coughs> radius, and we gain insanity. It's a nice way to gain insanity. This also, you tell me you can attack with tentacles, you gain insanity, yeah. This is a nice way to gain a bunch of insanity. It probably is worth it. Put your tentacle hand in the ground, splitting up, dealing a ton of damage to a bunch of people. They can then have their damage reduced, and if we're constricting, we'll deal even more damage. Okay, well, I think we obviously want the point into this. Postulant growth. Each time your skin shed skin loses 39% of your power, or you take a certain amount of damage. A black petition pustule grows on your body for 5% turns, and you gain resistances by 1% scaling. It can also make your pustules all explode. 
and give defiled blood. They just get assaulted by black tentacles. Cover them in black blood. And they heal you for 5% of the damage that they do. That's interesting. Path of Horror. Accuracy and spell power. Interesting. Body grows bigger. It's activated. Walking through walls is quite nice to be able to kind of get away. Writhing one. Yeah, I mean, obviously, we need to get this at some point. 23% stun immunity as, as a base is just amazing. So we'll put a point in there. We'll, we'll want it eventually. Use our bond with horrors to summon a decaying bloated horror for four turns. Can do mind disruption and mind seer. Seems quite nice. First, we try to turn a creature into a horror. Wow. Making all of the creatures hostile to it, and then call of Amek fell. I hope that the timer hasn't been going off for super long. I did not hear that at all. <laughs> Eh, no, probably hasn't been. Um, this one. Makes your horrors all better. Makes them all better. Yeah, I mean, this seems pretty good. And since we're skipping the disfigured face... This one is, seems okay to me. I mean... Again, value point. Just easy resistance? Okay. And I think we go for this too. Lots of lots of potential value points here. So I think we're gonna check out most of them. And then really kind of focus in on what we like. I think we're gonna boost up this a lot. We're gonna put a lot of points into this. And then from there, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I think the Path of the Horror is going to get... Well, we'll have to see how it scales. Horror. I'm from New Jersey. <laughs> um, do we accept the changes? Damn right we do. All right, folks. There's the end of the first episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to hit that like button. We just started our new journey with some potential rules that I'm hoping will allow me to actually get to the east for the first time we can do it together ladies and gentlemen so make sure you subscribe so that you can come along on that journey with me of course if you want to join the community and just kind of hang out and talk we've got a discord link to that down below i do stream usually about once a week twitch channels down below as well if you ever feel like supporting the channel and you want access to some nice perks well we do have a patreon link down below as well hope you guys enjoyed the episode until next time my name is man the maker take care everybody have a wonderful day.